everyone, Jared Garneau here. Um, hope you're all doing well. Um, today's lesson is going to revolve around uh, rosciados, which is a flamenco technique. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Something you hear Derek Trucks do when he's playing. Like, I think a good example of that would be um, on the song lines version of For My Brother, um, the live DVD song lines. Um, and it's cool. Like, um, for those of you that aren't familiar with the technique, the Rosciato technique is something they use in flamenco guitar. And it's the technique of hitting the strings um, with your fingers, you know, just like with the backside, though, like your nails. And the way Derek uses it, you know, he doesn't use it like a traditional flamenco player. What he does is he kind of like thinks of it as like a drum fill. Um, so like a good example, um, is just like maybe switching in between sections, chord changes, uh, key changes, that sort of thing. Um, like, I think the way Derek uses it, if my memory serves me correct is, um, I think he uses it to cap off his solo before, uh, the singer comes back in with the vocals. So um but yeah let's talk about how we do that so um and you know first off i am not like an expert on this technique whatsoever i'm still trying to work on um it myself but you know i am able to pull it off successfully sometimes um one example is and i'll post the link in my video is during um, my live performance of ball in a biscuit by the white stripes i did it before um it's like a 12 bar blues so i did it basically the measure before we switch to that four chord. So on like measure three. So that's a good way to think about it. It's like use that as a transition thing. And then, um, you know, just getting from point A to point B in a section of a song. Excuse me. Um, so let's talk about how to do it. So um, traditionally the most common Roschiato is the five stroke Roschiato where you're hitting it, you know, and I keep how I was taught, you know, by Dave Newsom, give him a shout out. Thank you very much, Dave, for everything you taught me. Um, he was the classical guitar professor at Berkeley. And, you know, he taught me private lessons, um, for the three years that I attended there. Um, so the most basic Roschiato or the, probably the most, not the most basic, cause it is difficult with the five strokes, but the most noble one since a lot of flamenco music is based on quintuplets. So playing like five hits over a beat. So, you know, if this is like the, the BPM, it would be one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one. It's an odd subdivisions, but the Roschiato that goes with that is while keeping your thumb planted on the six string and you can do it on the, um, the pickup as well. Um, but a lot of times I'll keep it, my thumb planted on the six string just because that's how I was taught. Um, but it starts with a downstroke on the pinky, followed by the ring finger, middle, index, and then an upward uh, rasciato um, with your index finger. So how I position my hand is I keep my thumb anchored on there. And I actually touch, yeah, uh, my index to like this middle knuckle joint on my thumb and i just keep it planted like that and the idea is you flick down with your pinky ring middle index and then upward rosciato and what i try to do is that when i when i do the upward rosciato i bring up all my fingers to set myself up for the pinky so it's like So when I do an upward rosciato, I'm also bringing up my other fingers to set myself up for that next pinky hit. Um, but that's pretty difficult to pull off, you know, especially at first. So what my teacher suggested I worked on is that I did thumb rosciatos, so um, which usually revolves around a triplet rhythm. So how I do that is I do thumb. Yeah, so I do upward thumb, flick down with my fingers so i'm basically flicking down with all four fingers or if you only do like your middle ring or index and middle that's fine too but i go 
up with my thumb, so I'm kind of like rotating my wrist to hit the strings on the way up, and I'm flicking down with my fingers and then doing um, a downstroke with my fingers. So it's, and what's helpful too is when you do that downstroke uh, with your fingers, bring down your hand so it's above the sixth string. So it's up, down, bring down your hand so it's in position to do that downstroke on your, um, on that downstroke on the thumb, but it's just getting used to that motion. It's very weird. Like if you've never played like flamenco music uh, before, this is probably gonna feel like almost like the first time you play guitar. My bad. Um, so it's it's very difficult, especially if you're not like used to it. But just going, just get used to that motion. And how I like to think of it is in triplets, or how I was taught was in triplets. So it's a three-stroke roschiato. So you're going one, two, three, triple, 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 triple. And there are other variations, like you could do the thumb first, index. I mean, thumb down, thumb up, fingers down. Um, or you could do fingers, thumb down, thumb up. So there's all these different combinations of Roschiatos you can do. It's kind of like if you're a drummer. You want to be able to hit um, a triplet beginning with both your right and left hand. You know, you want to have that dexterity where you can do both. Um, but yeah, how you can apply that to like a tune is, let's say we're playing a 12-bar blues, you know. So just doing that like on the last measure or measure three of a blues or like maybe the last half of measure three. And since, you know, it's a blues, you could get away with a uh, 16th note triplet. So going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, yeah. So, so on and so forth. Um, that can be a really powerful tool. Um, in context, that would sound like, I'll just improvise some lines, just going. <laughs> kind of lost the form, right? Let me try that again. So one, two, three, two. And so forth. I think I missed a couple of things there, but more or less you get the idea of it. So yeah, it can be a cool rhythmic way to cap off uh, phrases or signal like changing to a different chord or like different section of the song. Um, I kind of like almost think of it as like how B.B. King would end a lot of his solos with kind of that high note exclamation part. That sort of thing. So it's a way to cap off phrases and switch between things but um for those of you guys that are curious about this technique i'll post 
a video of me playing it live over Ball and Biscuit by Ball Andy Biscuit by the White Stripes. And um, yeah, just check it out and try and incorporate it in your playing. It's uh, very fun. It's very uh, crazy sounding just because, you know, you get that percussive Roscato sound, but with like the continuous pitch change of the slot. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video this week. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell, you know, all the things. And I will see you guys next week. Take care.